Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 25th. And it's a cold January indeed. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. There's a look at our SkyCam network from the Alpha SkyCam sites. And there's Birmingham. A beautiful sunrise shot this morning. And I couldn't help but enjoy the courthouse at Fayette this morning with uh, the lights on there and the flag fluttering in the breezes. Looks like another cold front will be coming through today, but uh, that won't uh, help uh, deter the warming that we have going on thanks to the changes in the upper air pattern as we're going to be flattening out just a little bit, but we still have the long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country. Temperatures across the country are rather chilly this morning with lots of below freezing values. Generally, the areas in the blue, the light blue to the dark blue, still pretty chilly in the north central U.S. with some minus values up there, but not as cold as we've seen sometimes this year. Temperatures across central Alabama uh, generally dipping back into uh, the vicinity of uh, the 20 degree mark but uh, a lot of spots dipping below that with a lot of lows in the in the range of 10 to uh, 20 degrees satellite image shows we do have a few clouds across the northern tier of, the, of uh, Alabama uh, but we should have a mostly sunny day today and even across the parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. It looks like they've got some snow going on up there according to radar. We do have a number of winter weather advisories. All those areas you see in the purples uh, are basically winter weather advisories and then uh, in the Carolinas we have uh, some high fire danger. QPF wise we're not looking at a lot of precipitation but the question is going to be will the precipitation come in the form of any snow and uh, it looks like if there is any snow it would be on uh, Monday. All right, let's get to the 06Z GFS model run. And uh, there's the cold air in place with the 540 line coming down into the vicinity of uh, Chattanooga. And uh, in the upper atmosphere, of course, we're dealing with a long wave trough position of which there are a number of disturbances and short waves rotating through the flow. One of those rotates down through the Great Lakes area on Monday. And so that will be bringing another cold front down. And you can see the 540 thickness line plunging down into central Mississippi and northern Alabama on a Monday. Looks like Monday is going to be one of those days where we may see some clouds, but probably mostly clouds. Uh, but we may be able to wring out a little bit of moisture. And there, uh, it's going to be one of those typical southeastern situations where the moisture is uh, leaving and the cold air is arriving. So uh, one of those things where we may see a few snow flurries. Oh, and, and Monday could be a day where uh, the temperatures are going to be falling. We've seen a lot of those this winter. By Tuesday, uh, we, we see one impulse is rotated through New England and another one is rotating down into the base of the long wave trough position. So that keeps things cold as the 540 line dives down to the vicinity of the Gulf Coast. We see a little bit of a relaxation, not a tremendous relaxation on Wednesday uh, as we see the cold air firmly in place with the 540 line uh, as kind of a marker uh, down in South Alabama. We do see the pattern flatten somewhat with kind of a double barrel uh, system. We've got the closed low up over uh, just north of the Great Lakes and then we've got a, a bit of an open trough over the uh, extreme western Gulf of Mexico. That pattern flattens even more as we get into a more um, zonal flow across much of the eastern half of the country as the long wave trough seems to be dampening out just a little bit. And of course, we'll have to be watching that little disturbance in the Gulf. Uh, suggestions are that we will have a cold front approaching from the north west, but uh, as you can see, the 540 line now back up into the Ohio River Valley, so it looks like we should be warming up with that flattening of the pattern. The pattern becomes a little, uh, remains somewhat zonal, but also is taking on a little bit more of a southwesterly uh, uh, fetch to it, and that means that we should warm up nicely, and as that front approaches, we'll have a rain around the 1st of February. And then by uh, the time we get out into voodoo country, it looks like the GFS is suggesting that the uh, deepest trough would be over 
the uh, western part of the country with a fairly substantial ridge centered over the Florida Peninsula. So uh, a big, uh, the big change for the eastern half of the country is that would signal a significant warm-up. Unfortunately, with a significant warm-up, when we look out around 372 hours, around the 9th of February, that certainly looks like this could have the look of a severe weather potential. Uh, especially across the southeastern U.S. with a fairly strong trough coming out of the Rockies and that uh, ridge over the southwest Atlantic pumping up the warmth into the eastern half of the country. So it looks like it would be warmer, but we also might have the potential for some severe weather. But that's voodoo country, remember, so we're kind of speculating there. It certainly has a look of potential for severe weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning, at least by 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I hope that your Saturday is a nice day. Enjoy the warm-up. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>